Welcome dear students, today we are going to learn about the status and scope of tannery industry. Tanning or high tanning is the process of treating skins and hides of animals to produce leather. A tannery is a place where the skins are processed. Tanning hide into leather involves a process which permanently alters the protein structure of skin, making it more durable and less susceptible to decomposition and colouring. Before tanning, the skins are often dehaired, then have fat, meat and connective tissue removed. They are then washed and soaked in water with various components and prepared to receive a tanning agent. Leather, the primary product from the tanning industry, where the product has got its applications in making footwear, furniture and bags. Most developing countries including India is producing 60% of world's leather needs. For making the leather, tanning is considered as a major process which involves more chemical reactions as well as mechanical operations. Now we are going to study about the history growth and expansion of the leather industry in India. India's leather industry has a rich history with its origin tracing back to the Mughal era. During this time, leather production in India was primarily centered in Delhi and Agra with skilled craftsmen and artisans producing high quality leather goods. The Mughal emperors were known for their patronage of the arts and they played a significant role in the growth and development of the leather industry in India. They encouraged the development of new techniques and technologies such as tanning, which helped to improve the quality of leather produced in India. As the Mughal Empire declined, the leather industry in India continued to flourish, with the production of the leather goods becoming an important source of income for many people, the industry continued to grow over time, driven by factors such as the availability of raw materials and skilled labor. One of the key factors that contributed to the growth of the leather industry in India was the abundance of raw materials. India has a large population of cattle, buffaloes and goats, which provided a sturdy supply of hides and skins for the leather industry. This abundance of raw materials made it possible for the leather industry in India to produce high quality leather goods at a competitive price. Another factor that contributed to the growth of the leather industry in India was the availability of skilled labor. Leather production requires a high degree of craftsmanship and India has a long tradition of skilled artisans and craftsmen who have been practicing their trade for generations. These skilled workers were able to produce leather goods of exceptional quality, which were in high demand both domestically and internationally. Over time, the leather industry in India continued to evolve and adapt to changing marketing conditions. New technologies and techniques were introduced to improve production processes and increase efficiency while new markets were explored to expand the reach of Indian leather goods. Today, India is one of the world's leading producers of leather goods with a diverse range of products, including shoes, bags, belts and jackets. The leather industry in India continues to grow and expand, driven by raising demand for leather goods, both domestically and internationally. So now we are going to talk about the leather industry's contribution to the Indian economy. The leather industry is a significant contributor to the Indian economy, with its contribution spanning several key areas. Let's take a closer look at the impact of the leather industry on the Indian economy. Talking about the statistics and figures. According to industry reports, 
the leather industry in India generates over 13 billion US dollars in revenue annually. India is also the second largest producer of footwears and leather garments in the world, with the leather industry accounting for 12.93% of India's total exports. Talking about the employment opportunities created by the leather industry. The leather industry is one of the largest employers in India, providing employment opportunities to more than 4.42 million people across the country. The industry has a significant presence in the states like Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal, where it's responsible for creating numerous job opportunities. In addition to creating jobs in leather manufacturing, the industry also supports a wide range of related businesses, including transportation, logistics and retail. This creates a ripple effect generating even more employment opportunities and contributing to the growth of the economy. So now we are going to discuss the leather industry's role in India's foreign exchange earnings. The leather industry is also an important source of foreign exchange earnings for India. In 2020, the industry contributed $5.5 billion to India's foreign exchange earnings, making it a critical component of the country's economy. The industry's exports include leather footwear, leather goods and leather garments, which are in high demand across the world. Furthermore, the leather industry has played a key role in promoting India's Make in India initiative, which seeks to encourage manufacturing and exports from India. By exporting high quality leather products, India has been able to establish itself as a key, key player in the global leather industry boosting its reputation as a reliable and efficient producer of leather goods. Overall, the leather industry's contribution to the Indian economy is significant, generating billions of dollars in re revenue annually and creating millions of job opportunities across the country. With a strong foundation and a focus on innovation and technology, the industry is well positioned to continue growing and contribute to India's economic development in the years to come. An analysis of the impact of the leather industry on the Indian economy. While the leather industry has contributed significantly to the Indian economy, it has also faced environmental sustainability challenges. However, the industry's potential for growth and impact on India's gross domestic product cannot be ignored. Here's a closer look at the analysis of the impact of leather industry on the Indian economy. Environmental Stability Challenges The leather industry has faced significant criticism for its negative impact on the environment, particularly in terms of water and air pollution. The tanning process requires large amounts of water and chemicals which can result in the contamination of water sources and soil. Additionally, the disposal of solid wastes, including animal hides and chemicals, can have long-term effects on the environment. To address these challenges, the Indian government has introduced measures to promote sustainable practices within the industry. For instance, the government has introduced the Common Effluent Treatment Plant CETP scheme, which aims to reduce water pollution by ensuring that effluent from tanneries is treated before released into the environment. This has resulted in a significant reduction of pollution levels in the areas where the scheme has been implemented. The impact on India's gross domestic product. The leather industry has a significant impact on India's GDP with its contribution amounting to approximately 2% of India's GDP. The industry's exports have also grown steadily, with a compound animal growth rate of 5.57% between 2015 and 2019. Additionally, the industry has a significant impact on the manufacturing sector, accounting for 2.83% of the total manufacturing output in India. Potential opportunities for growth. 
Despite the environmental sustainability challenge faced by the industry, there are several opportunities for growth. The Indian government has introduced several measures to promote the growth of the leather industry, including the establishment of leather clusters and the provision of subsidies for the development of infrastructure. The leather industry can also benefit from the growth of the e-commerce sector, which has led to an increase in demand for leather goods. Additionally, the industry can benefit from the rising demand for sustainable and eco-friendly products, which can be achieved through the adoption of sustainable practices in the tanning process. So now we are going to discuss the process of tanning. The tanning process begins with obtaining an animal skin. When an animal skin is to be tanned, the animal is killed and skinned before the body heat leaves the tissues. This can be done by the tanner or by obtaining a skin at a slaughterhouse, farm or local fur trader. Preparing hides begins by curing them with salt to prevent putrefaction of the collagen from bacterial growth. Curing removes water from the hides and skins. The moisture content is greatly reduced and osmotic pressure increases to the point that bacteria are unable to grow. In wet salting, the hides are heavily salted, then pressed into packets for about 30 days. Curing can also be achieved by preserving the hides and skins at very low temperatures. Now talking about the types of tanning, which are vegetable tanning, mineral tanning, towing, chrome tanning. So let us now discuss each one in detail. The first one is the vegetable tanning. The oldest form of tanning still in use today is vegetable tanning, which was developed by the ancient Greeks. The vegetable tanning process involves repeatedly soaking skins in natural tanning solutions made from plant extracts, commonly tree barks, leaves, fruits, seeds and roots due to their high tanning concentration. The resulting leather tends to have an earthy smell and color. It is also hard wearing and keeps its shape. This makes it suitable for shoe uppers and soles, wallets, belts, handbags and watch straps. Another distinguishing feature of vegetable tan leather is that it aids beautifully. It tends to darken in color and develop a unique patina, making it very individual. Because vegetable tanned leather only uses natural materials, it's often seen as the most suitable tanning choice. However, it uses more water and several times more tannins than chrome tanned leathers. The effluent also produced requires more treatment before it can be discharged. So its overall environmental impact is no better than the alternatives. The main downside of vegetable tanned leather is that it takes much longer to produce, usually between 30 to 40 days, versus the day or two need for chrome tanning. The process tends to be complex and involves a high level of skill, which means that it's more expensive than chrome leather. Also the robustness, that, that is its strength, can be a drawback, making it too stiff for applications where flexibility or stretchiness is required. So talking about the type number two, mineral tanning. Mineral tanning. Mineral tanning is a process which uses basic chromium sulfate as tanning agent. Once the desired level of penetration is achieved, the pH is again increased to facilitate the process which is termed as basification and obtained product is called as wet blue. Now we are going to talk about towing. Towing is another practice which uses aluminium salts and alum along with other materials. It's an age-old traditional process which gives a wet white product. Towing was conventionally used on goat skins and pig skins. So to now talking about the chrome tanning. Chrome tanning is the most commonly used tanning process. It uses chromium 3 sulfate which has been considered as the most effective and efficient tanning agent. It forms polychromium compounds by a process called olation, which acts as an active compounds in tanning. 
The leather obtained by chromium contains 4 to 5 percent of chromium. The efficiency is determined by enhanced stability and resistance to shrinkage at high temperature. Although chromium is an effective tanning agent, it has some hazards towards humans. The effects of chrome tanning towards humans. There is a high risk of getting cancers to the workers exposed to hexavalent chromium for a prolonged period of time. It has been reported that chromium causes lung cancer among workers. Repeated exposure to hexavalent can also damage the respiratory tract and may also cause nasal cancer. Direct eye contact of chromate causes permanent eye damage and eye irritation. Prolonged exposure to skin causes skin allergies, dryness, skin ulcers and swelling. Some workers may also develop allergic reactions when exposure to small amount. Other effects of chromium include growth problems, reproductive disorders, discoloration and erosion of teeth. Talking about the leather and environment. Global environment is continuously deteriorating due to human activities. Processing industries are causing much damage to the environment. Leather processing has gained negative impact in society because of its pollution. Leather processing involves various operations which include many chemicals that are expelled out in processing. 40 liters of water are required for processing 1 kg of skin which results in generation of large amount of waste leading to increase in biological oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen. It also results in emission of chromium and sulphate ions. Leather industry also emits intolerable smell due to protein degradation of the skin and results in generation of toxic gases such as ammonia and hydrogen sulphide. According to the research data, only 20% of the rawhide is used for the production of leather, where the remaining is generated as a waste. Hence, leather industry is considered as one of the major polluting industries which generates huge amount of solid and liquid waste. Thus, cleanup production and recycling is needed in order to control environmental pollution. Several researchers have developed cleaner leather processing methodologies to reduce the environmental impact. They include salt-free preservation systems, enzyme-assisted low-sulfide hair removal, ammonia-free deliming systems, waterless chrome tanning technology, chrome-free tanning methods, and solvent-free finishing systems. Dear students, let's now talk about the Indian leather industry. The Indian leather industry holds a prominent place in the Indian economy. This sector is known for high export earnings and it's among the top 10 foreign exchange earnings for the country. The export of footwear, leather and leather products from India was to the tune of 3.68 billion US dollars in 2020 to 2021. India's exports of leather, footwear, and leather products touched 5.26 billion US dollars in 2022 to 2023. The industry is bestowed with a wealth of raw materials. India is gifted with 20% of world cattle and 11% of world goat and sheep population. Added to this are the strengths of skilled manpower and innovative technology. The leather industry is an employment intensive sector providing jobs to about 4.42 million people, mostly from the weaker sections of the society. Women employment is predominant in leather products sector with about 30% share. India is the second largest exporter of leather garments and fourth largest exporter of leather goods in the world. The major production centers for leather products in India are located in Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Punjab and Karnataka. Now we are going to discuss the strengths of the Indian leather sector. Own raw material source, strong and eco-sustainable tanning base, modernized manufacturing units, trained, skilled manpower, world class support for design and product development, presence in major markets, emerging strengths, continuous modernization and technology upgradation, economic size of manufacturing units, constant human resource development program to enhance productivity, 
increasing use of quality components, shorter prototype development time, growing domestic market for footwear and leather articles. The various challenges of the leather industry. Due to the religious significance of some animals, the leather industry is still underdeveloped. Companies that are not interested to provide value to the product with good branding, affluent management, non-tariff barriers, quality specifications and cost hinder the export growth of the Indian leather industry. Environmental issues associated with leather tanning and other processings. So the government initiatives for the leather industries. Let us discuss some important government initiatives for developing leather industry. Number one, sustainable technology and environmental protection. This initiative is aimed at sustainable and environment friendly industrial and tanning activities, which are particularly linked to environmental concerns. Considering these issues, zero liquid and wastewater discharge is made mandatory in some states. The integrated development of leather sector. The main objective of this scheme is to encourage leather industries and to diversify, set up some new units leading to better productivity. Mega leather footwear and accessories cluster development. The scheme is launched to provide modern infrastructure, technology, training, skill development, and human rose development inputs. Brand promotion of Indian brands in leather. The scheme is launched to provide modern infrastructure, technology, training, skill development, and human resource development inputs. Footwear sector and development of design. This scheme will provide design support, technical assistance and opportunities for employment and business. Now we are going to discuss the scope of leather industry in India. India is the world's second largest manufacturer of leather goods after China. It can create jobs, growth and export with yearly exports exceeding 2 billion US dollars. The industry has transformed from a mere transporter of raw materials to a well-established exporter of value-added leather products and completed goods. The Indian leather industry is one of the oldest globally, having been in operation since the 19th century. The supreme quality of Indian leather and efficient craftsmanship has given Indian leather goods a firm foothold worldwide. The market also has a high capability for expansion and has become more organized over the years. The leather and footwear industry employs 4.42 million people, making it one of the most labor-intensive industries in India. More than half a million unemployed people are working in this industry in the past five years after receiving training from the various government programs with an annual leather manufacturing capacity of 1.8 billion square feet India is the world's largest animal producer. India produces 13 percent of the world's footwear output. As a result the company exports 115 million pairs amounting for 95% of its total output. With a market share of 10% worldwide and 2% of global trade, Indian leather industry is a major exporter. Indian leather clothing and leather goods are all exported from India, making India in the second largest exporter of leather and leather goods globally. Now the industry is at a point where it's utilizing all available raw materials to their full potential and reaping the moves from exports. Under the automatic approach, 100% FDI is already allowed in this area. An investment of rupees 2600 crore is being made by the government in the Indian Footwear and Leather Development Program. This provides financial assistance for key areas, such as increasing production and upgrading. Startups in the leather and footwear industry have room to grow broad domestically and internationally. 
Now we are going to throw some light on the future outlook for the leather industry in India. The leather industry has played a crucial role in the Indian economy for decades, providing employment opportunities, contributing to India's foreign exchange earnings, and accounting for a significant portion of the country's exports. However, the industry has also faced environmental sustainability challenges, including the pollution caused by traditional tanning methods. As a result, the industry has had to adapt to changing consumer demands and regulations by adopting more sustainable practices and investing in research and development to create eco-friendly products. With the growing demand for sustainable and eco-friendly products, the leather industry in India has the opportunity to become a leader in the global market, provided that it continues to invest in sustainable practices and new technologies. The future outlook for the leather industry in India looks promising, with the government's support and introduction of measures to aid the industry's growth and establishment of leather clusters. The adoption of sustainable practices, technological advancements, and the growing demand for eco-friendly products present potential opportunities for the industry to expand and create even more employment opportunities. However, the industry will need to remain competitive in the face of increasing global competition by improving efficiency, providing high-quality products, and adopting new technologies. The leather industry in India has the potential to continue to be a significant contributor to the Indian economy and a global leader in the industry if it continues to adapt to the changing demands and invest in sustainable practices and new technologies. Thank you all for joining today's lecture. I hope you found it informative and engaging.